now that we've got OpenCL working in our IDE, let's look at some of the terminology that's going to, to be used throughout this series. So you've got a platform, which is the implementation SDK that you've just installed. Context, which is a collection of devices that are able to use OpenCL that have been configured to work together. You've got the devices themselves, which are the physical things that run OpenCL code, your CPU, GPU, and accelerator. The host is the client side. Um, so the code that you write in your normal application, just like you do every day, that's the host. You're the host, pretty much. The kernel is the function that was going to do the work. A work item is a instance of a kernel that is doing a bit of the work. Then you've got work groups, which are a collection of work items. You've got command Q, which is commands you call on the host and send them to the device to execute. You've got different types of memory on a device, local, global, private, and constant. But constant and global are sometimes used interchangeably. No, that's not really the right. They sometimes occupy the same memory, I should say. The buffer is just an area of memory on, it shouldn't just be GPU, it's any OpenCL device. A compute unit is basically a workgroup and the associated memory of that. That every item, every work item in the workgroup can access. And this is a diagram that I stole from this guy. It demonstrates it quite well. So you've got your private memory, which each work item has. It's the fastest memory that a work item can access. Then you've got a work group consisting of multiple work items that each share some local memory. And you've got another cache layer. And then you've got your actual global memory that all the uh, work items executing a kernel can access. And that's the only thing that the host can interchange with as well. We can only access from global memory.